Welcome back, Love Stylers. I miss D. Today we're going to be talking about a 90% carnivore lifestyle. And this is different than a diet. I think the word lifestyle may be overused these days. Lifestyle to me seems like the way we live. And a diet is what we actually eat, what's on our plate. So on a carnivore lifestyle, we eat mostly meat, dairy, and eggs. So why would I do a 90% carnivore diet instead of 100%? Well, first of all, 100% is almost impossible. And most of us are not always in an environment where we can just eat meat, dairy, or eggs. So let's be real, people. I hope you've tuned in to find out that 90% is way more of a lifestyle that's sustainable. 10% of the time, I eat other foods, a little bit of fruit, dark chocolate, I drink coffee every day, and I'll have the occasional sweet potato, for example. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you so many benefits about going on a carnivore diet that people are experiencing these days. It's ultra low carb, if you've never heard of it before. It's keto 2.0, which I'm trying to coin at this time, just to get you to understand that it's lower carb than keto even. So it works for a lot of people a lot faster. Here are a few benefits a lot of people are experiencing. Of course, weight loss, inches lost, less flabby or loose skin, which women, we love to hear this, less cellulite, faster cellulite reduction is one of my favorite things about the carnivore diet. But beyond the stuff that looks good, we're having healing from the inside out going on here. I got off my high blood pressure medicine and I lost 55 pounds between keto and carnivore in the last five years. I've also stayed away from alcohol because I was an alcoholic. So these are some things, but a lot of people are getting off their medication. Better mood, better hair, skin, nails, and teeth. Reverse aging or slowing down the aging process beating our food addictions, curing or lessening our sugar cravings. It helps balance our hormones. Higher sex drive helps stabilize your mood during the day. Great stamina and even better sleep. Personally for me, I have found a lot more success eating meat with a lot of fat in it, especially beef. I love bacon. Bacon is part of my lifestyle. It has the perfect ratio of protein to fat. So if you haven't upped your bacon, it's going to help you a lot. If you have trouble feeling full, it can even help with cravings when you have that perfect ratio of protein to fat. So I tend to personally eat meats with a lot of fat and that helps me. Now I add some eggs in here and there. I add some cottage cheese or a little sour cream in as a dip or a side, if you will. Butter is of course suggested and even recommended if you want a high fat and high protein diet so you can stay full for a long time. I used to be on keto a few years back and I loved keto because it got me over to carnivore and I learned how to eat and I love it here more because I don't respond well to a lot of leafy greens, to a lot of vegetables. There's oxalates in vegetables and they can kind of affect some of us more than others. So you have to find out what your own body's algorithm is and work with your own personal nature and tune into what you think affects you in a good way or a bad way. I know what you're eating if you're dieting and you haven't come to carnivore yet. You're eating giant salads, just like I did. And when I was on keto, I was just eating the big giant salads once or twice a day. I would put my meat on there and it would most likely be chicken. And that lean chicken that goes best on a salad, which is chicken breast, does not have a lot of fat. Even though there were other vegetables, tomatoes and such, cucumbers in the salad, I would still be finding myself hungry an hour or two after I ate the salad. I was including salad dressing, which was loaded with soybean oil. So you have to be very, very careful. So here's a peek into my lifestyle. Yesterday, we got new phones. And you know, getting new phones takes you hours and hours. 
to load up stuff. So we were hungry. Now I typically don't eat lunch. This was out of character for Andrew and myself. But we said, you know what? Let's go to Chick-fil-A. We never do this. It's a little bit of a cheat because there's flour in the breading on those nuggets. I actually felt like eating a salad for the first time in months. I never thought there would come a day where I would actually consider a salad a cheat on my diet because there were some nuggets on there and a little bit of breading, but mostly because I had to use the dressing, the avocado ranch that is so good there. I have a replacement for it. I'm gonna put a video up here of my three low carb dressings and one of them does taste just like it. So try these guys, it'll save you a lot of heartache. So yesterday is a great example of one of those days where I was a product of my environment. I wanted a salad, so I ate a damn salad. Please don't kick me out of the carnivore club. <laughs> I would like to mention that the coolest thing happened to me while I was at Chick-fil-A yesterday. I met a new friend, hi Gina. Go follow Gina at Ketovore Galore on Instagram. She's really cool. She puts up a lot of cool food posts. This was the first time I was ever recognized for my YouTube channel. And they say that that's like some kind of milestone. I'm so glad I went to Chick-fil-A and ate a salad. I might look at my notes because I'm so not sciency, but protein is the building blocks of life. Every cell contains protein. It helps repair cells, make new cells, repair organs, muscles, hormones, bones, cartilage, skin, blood, and enzymes for the body. So we need protein. We need to eat protein. The fat attached to the protein, the meat fats, is very, very helpful to help you stay full. And it just is like a magic trick to me because I will have sugar cravings still after doing carnivore for over three years. Occasionally, if I watch someone eating an ice cream, especially this time of year, it's coming in, guys. We have to have some forethought, I feel, because we know the season is here. The season where all the yummy foods come in, the picnics and the cookouts and the vacations, and there's so many reasons why our environment could really throw us for a loop if we are not prepared. So eating the extra fat with the meat is the first step to feeling full and not wanting that sugar as much. And that's huge for carnivore people. That's actually what gets us to cure, hopefully, most of our sugar cravings. And I don't think a lot of people talk about it. Craving is different than hunger. And even hunger is sometimes fake hunger where you think you're hungry and you're not. So knowing your body's algorithm, I keep coming back to this thought because I know me. And if I see somebody eating something that's off my plan, I all of a sudden want it, especially if it's one of my favorite foods. And I have to just push through that thought. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute. And then I'm done and I say, wait a minute, Misty, you don't eat that anymore. So. It can be done and you can do it. If you are fat or just a little bit fat and would like to trim up before the season gets here, if you are on meds, if you are a functional food addict, if you have a health issue of any type, or if you wanna slow down the aging process, if you want a little bit tighter skin, if you wanna get rid of your cellulite, if you want to have a more stable, balanced mood, if you want to sleep like a baby, if you want more energy and stamina, if you want a better, higher sex drive, especially ladies like me over 50, then this may be something that you can consider today. Even if you don't watch my channel, I still want you to go out and find out all the things you can about the carnivore diet or at least a keto diet or a low carb lifestyle because it's done so many great things for me. I don't want you to miss out. And I want you to realize that this is your choice. 
deciding to let your environment dictate what you do, even though as humans, part of it can't be helped, but part of it can be helped. I've done it. I do it every single day when I refuse to eat foods that are junk foods and they're constantly being offered to me and it's not easy. I have to practice and rehearse this over and over again. And every day that passes, I feel like I'm a little bit better than the day before. Now I fall off track some days and I give in, but I like to call that allowing and I'll get to that in a minute. I actually am healthier than I was like 20 years ago. It's crazy to me. And I know you probably are doubtful and that's okay. I was doubtful at first, but I want you to consider and do some research about this because I'm loving it. I just really would like to help other people realize they can fix whatever they have going on. If calorie restriction and eating a lot of large salads doesn't cut it for you or doing the small portion type of diet where you can just eat like a bird, that didn't do it for me either. That's too much restriction for some of us because I feel like this is really, when we get down to it, very much a mind game. It's psychology, I feel like, because if I can look at someone eating an ice cream cone and I feel like I have to eat that while I'm watching them and then that goes away in 30 seconds, then I know I could do this and I know that it's a mind game. It's just old habits. And you know, the taste of course, and some of these foods that we miss when we eat low carb, um, you miss them a little bit, but it goes away and it starts to fade. And when you see all of the great results you're having with your health and that you can take control and make these choices and it's up to you, it's very, very empowering. Cause then you start putting that mindset towards other things you may want to accomplish in your life. Like, Myself, as an artist, I want to play better music. I'm a keyboard player for Black Eyed Soul. Check us out. We're available everywhere. Don't they say the diet that works best for you is the one that you'll keep doing? Well, that's for me, carnivore, meat, dairy, and eggs. And I think I need to lighten up on some of the dairy because cheese is definitely a crutch. I have an addictive personality. Yeah, Misty, but I don't really think I could go without Cheese? No cheese? I could eat like a pound of cheese. Like if you leave me with a block of cheese, I'm eating it. No, it's like so good. I eat it like every day. Before I go guys, I just wanna mention some foods that I allow for the 10% of the time that I'm not eating just meat, dairy, or eggs on a regular-ish basis. And stick around in a moment for my truth bomb after that. Also, thank you for subscribing, sharing, and liking. Send this to somebody who you think will benefit from it. So some foods that are not carnivore foods that I allow 10% of the time in my life would be like a sweet potato occasionally, maybe a vegetable like Brussels or some zucchini, the very occasional salad when I go out to eat or something like that because you have to be careful of the dressing, like I was saying earlier. Chocolate, dark chocolate, 90%. I do allow occasionally, maybe a keto treat that I have made. Also a little bit of fruit here and there. Honey in my coffee occasionally when I've been a good girl. Some pickles and maybe a little bit of ketchup but it's the Primal Kitchen ketchup. And guys, it's worth the money. Get the Primal Kitchen ketchup with no sugar in it. Allowing something off plan occasionally, even if it's like an ice cream, full sugar ice cream, it's not gonna kill you, probably. Now, if you feel eating ice cream is going to lead you to eat more bad things, then that might be a time to abstain. But if you have the strength to just have one preferably homemade ice cream, then have an ice cream. Because you know what? Allowing is going to be necessary to live this kind of lifestyle and keep it going. And that's what I have found. Allowing things for a birthday, a holiday, seasonally, if you are going to your family reunion this summer, 
or just because you feel like it does kind of add something mentally that gives us a little bit of a break when we are dieting or being so restrictive or at least feeling like we're being so restrictive in some cases. Not to mention vacations, because it's vacation season and it's gonna probably happen to some of us and it's okay. A low carb treat is always suggested if you can. And my truth bomb today is, today is the youngest you will ever be. Let that sink in a minute. Today is the youngest you'll ever be. So learning how your body responds especially to the healthier changes that you are making and being very focused in on listening to its signals and following its algorithm is beneficial to the future of your health from this day forward. For optimal results, for a better lifestyle, please listen to your body and start today when you are the youngest and it's probably gonna function better now then when you're older, if you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. I have a lot of information to share to help you along. Thank you for listening and watching Love Style today. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.